Enemy Friend is a film basically about street life. I play a character called Nathan who's struggling because his friend Greg's been shot. So basically it goes through his emotional, I don't know what to call it, turmoil and leads to him doing what he does. Well, it's a movie that is current, it's today. It's what the youths are going through. It's basically the story of a young young man named Nathan and it starts with, you know, the death of his friend and it follows his life and, you know, the choices he has to make and where he actually eventually ends up, you know. Um, and there's all, all through the film you can see there's points where if, you know, he had listened to another or listen, decided to go another way, things could turn out different, you know. And we've done it in that way so people that, you know, are a little bit, just a little bit astute will see that, you know. Hear what you man have said, everyone eats to their own. I know what I'm doing. You know the ones My role in the film was to be one of Nathan's closest friends. Due to Nathan getting killed, could have easily, be, easily been caused from instigation. Like you got people in the hood that may instigate things sometimes, but when niggas end up dead, you don't know how that person could be feeling. He's still alive at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, it's kind of the same situation that Nathan was put in because Nathan's closest friend was killed. And then his boys wanted to help him ride with his friend. Now Nathan's dead. His brethren are gonna have to ride for him. Supposedly. So I know you're moving bookie and all, bro. Nah, no, you don't want to pull out the thing and burst, man. You know, <laughs> you know what it is? Man, we've got to ride for each other, fam. Cool. Ah, it's just me and you, you know, blood. Yeah, it don't it's know. It's just me and you, bro. Well, I kind of think the title speaks for itself. Um, I think a lot of people have had been in that predicament where you've got friends who, you know, really are your enemies. So it's really based around that. Um, it's, it's a story that involves a few main characters. So, yeah, a lot of drama going on. This is your warning. It's time to wake the fuck up and stop yawning. The message of the film is basically run around with guns and you'll get killed. So. It will be felt by the audiences in, on different levels, no doubt, because different people take things different ways. But from my perspective, it was done as a caution, a warning of people to, especially these young kids today, to more get themselves together and really know what they're doing. Think about what you're doing, the drinking, the smoking. Basically that, it all leads to one place, so that's basically what I'm touching on. No, it's the fate fronting to me. No, make it. No, no one's there. The better man just be their self, innit? Nah, I don't know what man's trying to prove to man or what man trying to keep up out here. No, no one's there. The better man just be their self. iVision was casting, and a couple of my people then knew about iVision Productions. So they contacted me, and then all the rest was history after that. The bowlers nick down Greg. Now I earned it, they want me dead. I'm waking up with the gun by the bed. Tick a G, all I see is red. They get me, you are getting me instead. Imagine me getting filled with lead. Ain't nobody was taking my head. Nat said I need to use my head. She's white cause this whole thing's long. But better's bust when they can't get along. That's the way on the ends I'm from. Well, basically, enemy friends based on different things that happen in the hood. Some niggas keep together. Some niggas instigate things and get niggas killed. Some niggas rob niggas, take their chain, cause a mad beef. Basically, there's all types of enemy friends in the hood. Look, make sure you do it, no fuck ups. I hope, I hope, honestly, I truly hope that they do get the message of the film. Because for me, I was looking at it like, you know, this film is relevant because we have got 15 year old young men out there, you know, and this is where their life's leading. And it's, you know, it's a shame because a lot of them grow up thinking that is all there is, but there isn't, you know, like you can get up and do something. I mean, I'm no more special than anyone out there, but I'm here doing this with my team. We're putting it down. So you can do it if you want to. The same heart that you put into grinding on the block, busting shots and getting new straps, you can actually put that into something positive, you know? Go make some new friends. Forget about locking off ends, make your ends bigger. It's getting nuts in the 30s. 
So like every end you go and someone's getting licked down We're just killing each other over rubbish All this black on black killing is bullshit man So I think everyone will interpret this film in their own way with Enemy Friend I think it, it portrays a few things It's not just negative because you see man's running around with bucks chasing each other wanting to kill each other It's real in it so I think the positive thing about this project is people that don't really know about road think they know about road or are intrigued and, and you know excited by this they can see it ain't really all about excitement it's nonsense a lot of people that are involved on road they don't necessarily want to be it's what you do to get by and it's what you know in it you don't do it because you've got a silver spoon in your mouth and you just want to be on road you want to be bad man it's nonsense so yeah you get a lot of ups and downs here you get the good side and bad side of being on road but yeah we, we, we show you the bad side and, and hopefully that can you know show these little youths it ain't really about that you know enemy your enemy friend you know what that is that is not even where i'm trying to go shipping guns, you know? listen we know we know what they're doing but if you know what they're doing then why are you sitting here being another statistic and letting them get away with it you know what it's not about fighting against them it's about going and doing something better with yourself fuck all of this fuck them fuck do you know what? I ain't even gonna say fuck G because I cared about him, but you know what? He had what he had coming to him. He was living the way he was living, Nathan, and you, better than anyone, should know what was gonna happen to him. Okay? You fucking listen. Yeah, look, I know. Man can't come like, out this thing. Yeah. Road's you nuts. know what? You know what? You can do what you wanna do. If you wanna yeah. sit here and stay in listen, here and be an offer G, then you do that, Nathan. But I ain't doing that with you. Well, it was real. It was it was really fun making the film, um, the whole process, and um, you know, it was it was really chilled and relaxed and stuff. I was made to feel really comfortable. As I was filming, though, I'd really get into character, and as you can see, Natalie and Nathan, they you know, they go for it and they argue and stuff, which I think everyone in a relationship can can probably relate to. It wasn't all arguments, though. It might appear that way, but you know, Natalie just cares about Nathan. Obviously, she loves him. She's with him. That's their partner. And she's looking out for him. She doesn't want him to go down the same route as, as Greg. And, you know, you know what it's like on road that your partner's always going to look out for you without being too womanly and nagging. But, you know, if your woman ain't looking out for you, who is? Do you know what I'm saying? So, and not everyone is clear minded. Obviously, when you're distressed or you're in that mode, it's beef, isn't it? You ain't going to be clear minded and you don't really care, you know, what happens to you and all the rest of it. So, she's just looking out for him and she cares about him. Um, but obviously they have their madness, especially when she finds the thing in it. <laughs> she goes on, she goes nuts. So yeah, it's only because she cares though. She loves him really. Enemy, your enemy friend. There's a scene where me and Castro are sitting in the living room and we're talking about how we killed Greg and there's a part in that that you know I felt to put in because I know that nowadays the way you value life they do sit like that you know I'm laughing about killing someone now that would never be me but it's just, just that you know to show that side of things the realism of it yeah you know man will kill a man and take it for a joke you know that's that's where we're at now next time Popo touch me bro I'm going to fuck the shit out of them. I'm going to beat the fuck out of them to their black and blue, bro. I don't know where they kick down a 5 all down in fucking Deptford, you know, black. I love that shit there. Fuck the street. From the block to the road, nigga. From the road to the streets. From the block to the road, nigga. From the road to the streets. Enemy your enemy friend. Basically, the scene around the table where they got choices that they can make. And you got one set of guys that are saying, listen, forget it, it's too soon, it's too early, don't do it, don't kill, it's bad, it's one cycle. One man gets licked down, that man wants to go lick down that man, this man wants to come back, like, man, they may even get into literacy, 30 nowadays, I swear, bro, look how much man's dropped out from the year started already. And you got another group of guys saying, listen, let's go and kill this guy. Blood, fuck it, Duffy, Duffy, man. That's giving you the different perceptions and if he had took another road, maybe he won't be dead. So that's just showing you sometimes people will come to you and say things 
and you may not be ready. So we're just trying to push that message basically and show you there's there's two sides to this thing. Yes, people do go go around and kill people with guns and but there's it's, it's, there's a lot to it basically. Smoking a fat fat Zuby while I'm stroking the strap. Pussy yours are gonna know it's some bat. Yeah. Don't think I'm promoting the trap. I just zone out. Enemy your enemy friend. There's a scene when Kato is going through a distinction of what to do in a mad situation where someone did run him down and try and burst some shots after him in the middle of the street and he's talking to me as one of his people then obviously you know about the high rollers and that he's breaking it down to me to find out what's the best thing solution to do it because obviously he wants to get dealt with ASAP and these are the sort of situations we're talking about it's real life situations of what really does happen in the real world and this little idiot can't even step up in nothing remember don't I tell you don't understand though bless like man tried to done me like He's not serious still, you hit me? Because right, right now, I shouldn't even beat it. That's not the point, it's the principle, serious. you see me? Like, we're fam, you understand? You know how we do anything test, we roll for each other. So, what you mean? So, you think I know our role is about? Huh? Well, you think our role is about fam fam? Them man is Bless. done, I'm done in his dance. Don't watch nothing. The scene with Castro again, where I'm in the car, and the emotion of, you know, just being shot at very recently. Like, you know, there's a lot of anger, a lot of, you know, revenge in mind, you know, and I wanted to project that, you know, like, through the eyes, through the the, the tones in the voice, because, you know, I, I, I can well imagine, you know, just from acting it, getting into role, running down that road and thinking, right, man's looking to burst at me. When you're sitting down talking, you take yourself back to that, then sit there and think, you would be very angry. Your initial reaction would be, you know, man's got to get it, man tried to. So, yeah, that, that, was, a, that was a nice scene. I'm licensed to come, you understand? He used to roll with man then when we was young, and all of a sudden man think he's a big... You look a waste, man. I told you from Isla. But brother, you, 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 know, you know that when man tried done me, though, that's it, innit? That's it, no more talking. Him and anybody right and get blown away. Remember I tell you, it's not a game. Enemy, your enemy friend. It was a fun process. We had a lot of laughs making the film. It was great. I got to see both sides of the camera. So, it was quite interesting. I can't believe Castro just blew him away like. He just fucked up. Because it's like, now they could be looking to kill me. I'm going to have to be looking to kill them. It's like friends have turned into enemies. It's just all new law blood. It's nuts. Here yeah, you see the film when Natalie finds the gun. At that specific part of the film, I was trying to show the emotion that if you've got a girlfriend and you're living that kind of lifestyle, they can make it worse because she, all she done was upset him and he went back out there and done whatever he done. So it's, so what we're trying to get is there's, there's many different things that impact on what's going on out there. I've always come from a creative background. Both my parents are quite creative and got a perception that needs to be heard. So yeah, music, movies, I'm involved in it all. All of my people, them living hot Can't afford insurance, you've driven hot Can't make ends meet, bro, say you're swing the rock So bro, black mask and run up in the spot Kaya and, and myself have, have been involved in um, a few projects before you know in the early um, early days we've known each other for some years and you know it was kind of just a natural progress w what happened was we were doing some other uh, making moves and stuff like that and when when we kind of started talking about this project I was there um, you know my brother is actually the lead role Nathan um, I think he does like you know brilliantly he, he deserved the role you know um, and myself like I say I knew Kaya and I, I I just did that role. I thought I, I was capable of just pulling that off. So I hope y'all liked it. I know you're involved. Oh, so. involved in what? Bless, you know yourself, bless, yeah? bless. Listen, listen. Okay. Right. Listen. In the hood that we live in, there's so much confusion and differences that good friends can become enemies. 
Cause the life that I'm living is terrible, terrible I am. It was fun, it was a lot of jokes and stuff, but yeah, we got we got busy, we done our work, got serious when we needed to. But other than that, it was fun on the sidelines. <laughs> enemy your enemy friend. Just leave it to them. Leave it to who? Who, the police? The police ain't fucking doing nothing. Yeah? Only fucking people they work with is fucking informers. <laughs> No, this, no, no, no. I think like, I That's what I said. No, already. I had my belly rumble. That's what I want you as well. That's what I done already, that it, man, for me, you know. Greg, man, Greg. Greg, you are me. But what? Everything happens for a reason. And the kind of what? life he was. What do you mean everything happens for a reason? What you getting like say you should have got licked down? I ain't saying that. That's not what I'm trying to say. Did you fucking deserve it? I'm not trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus a fucking kind of deserves all he fucking gets, right? This is that you're making me up. Listen, Nathan. Hold your corner, yeah. You ain't G, right? <laughs> Don't act like that. I don't want to be a G too. I want to be a G. <laughs> Enemy your enemy friend You know so um yeah it's been hard work but it's been fun hard work and you know seeing the product at the end and you know having all of those people endorse our product as well say you know go see that and that is you know what we want we want people to go see it and see the point of it you know and that is the whole all that hard work for something you know and again like I say the fun side of it there was some jokes in it as well you know certain <laughs> certain scenes like getting a um, gun pulled on you and having to run at like I don't know top speed and then getting told yeah can we do that again and again and again yeah 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 keep me fit man keep me fit you know it was good Southeast the home of the brave the wise the great the broken estates enemy your enemy friend and instead of you know going in and trying to break in through their way we're saying you know what we can do this so we've come together isms i vision you know myself you'll always see me involved whether even whether you see me in front of the camera behind the camera somewhere within the promotion wherever he's i will always be involved so yeah get to know the face a man needs some rizzler you know fam you saying you look to bun off the area yeah my man needs to taste it yeah, bun two scuds and just dash it to the youngest man mate. part one's banging I'm in most of the hottest scenes. We do things from going to get Rizzler to busting straps at next man's because they're enemy friends. It's all the shit that goes down in the hood on a day-to-day -day basis. I need to survive another day. Enemy friend is a black film with a positive message. People I know love the film. On a real note, <laughs> they love the film even more because I'm in it. They love the whole thing. First and foremost, Salah. My family is on Kaya, SOA, GX, Craze24, KO, and Sentimental. And it's more of an encouragement to the people that out there to understand the streets more. Yes, this is the first time I've done filming. Broadcasting, wherever it goes, Father God take it there. You get me? It's all a blessing in disguise. You see me for a man like me from the streets. You get me? But yeah, man. Before I leave, I want to say keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Enemy friend part two coming soon. Black! Yeah, obviously, the whole of the cast. For enemy friends, it was a lot of fun working with everyone, so I have to big up everyone from the end. Everyone who's watched it, out to everyone who's supporting it. Obviously, all my music people, out to Rosa, Silverback, everyone I work with. Big up Kai, the director, producer. Bye. Enemy, your enemy friend. Now you run around with guns and people get killed. That's basically what the film's about. And thanks to all the people that I worked with. Thanks to my family. Love to my kids. But again, like I say, it will always be gritty and not glorifying it in any way because that is not our aim. Kai has really like got on his grind and said, yep, this is what we want to do. From a, 
got on board I've just been like yeah you know anything that needs doing we do it we get it done and it's it's been inspirational in the sense of now we just want to get bigger you know the next the next eye vision production not to say glossy like all of that but just bigger you know and better we just want to keep improving shout out to my my three daughters my son you know because they're growing up in this nuts world out here and that I want to shout out to my mum, lover, you know, all my family, you know, Kaya, my brother Sess, you know, the lead role, you know, sorry, Asante as, as, as we say, but I know him as Sess. You know, I want to shout out to all of you young youths to just fix up, wake up, you know, that's about it. Peace. Enemy or enemy friend. Go bang, go hit your bee and hear that key go clang I rust the mum and put me jam, make man Put your pants in the vacation Go see the motherland and top up your can Go and see where it all began You're not a nigga, you're a Nubian Yo, you're not a nigga, you're a Nubian Elo E mate, no hooligan Stay true to fam, you're not a nigga, you're a Nubian Elo E mate, no hooligan